नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायण न स्वयं व्यासन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदीते भगवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवदीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल गेव एनलाइटमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस shower of the nectar like knowledge of non dualism contained in your 18 chapters oh my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee krishna vandana vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanura mardanam devaki paramanandam krishnam vande jagat gurum son of vasudeva the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devaki o lord krishna the supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you shrimad bhagavad gita and our reading of the 11th adhyay of uh, vishwarupa darshan yoga and uh, shri krishna is uh, telling arjuna how fortunate you have been to have that opportunity of seeing my cosmic form of seeing this vishwaroop of mine which the devotees the aspirants they cannot uh, gain that vision they cannot have a fortune they cannot have that opportunity of seeing that cosmic form in spite of doing 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 so many meritorious things in spite of spending their lifetimes in the studies of vedas in spite of spending their lifetimes in performing yagnas the sacrifices in spite of throughout their life giving arms and gifts and in spite of getting engaged in all kind of worships and the rituals and in spite of performing the severest of the austerities nobody can have that grand fortune of seeing my cosmic form shri krishna had said na ved yagnya dhyanair na danaihi na chakriya bhi na tapo bhi rugre na ved adhyayana no yagnya no dana नो क्रिया भी नो उग्र तपा स्टडिंग वेदास इज ऑफ इज ऑफ नो यूज स्टडिंग स्क्रिप्चर्स इज ऑफ नो यूज ऑल ऑल दो ऑल दीज एक्ट्स दे आर मेरिटोरियस एक्ट्स दे लीड वन दे लीड एन एस्पायरेंट ऑन द पाथ ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी बट देर इज अ लिमिट टू बीच ऑल दीज पाथ दैट आर शोन दैट आर नैरेटेड बाई कृष्णा the studies studying the scriptures and the vedas performing sacrifices then performing the the, the offering the gifts and the arms and the charities then performing different rituals different worships different pujas do this puja that puja and performing severe austerities all these things they lead an aspirant to certain stage on the spiritual path but not that ultimate uh, cosmic vision of the lord no one can get and shri krishna said evam rupa shakya aham nru loke drashtum tvat anyena kuru pravira o kuru pravira o great among this uh, all the kurus o great test of the kuru clan only you have seen this no one else in this world in this universe of human beings can see it you are extremely fortunate to have that that this form of mine has been seen only by you in this world of men oh grand uh, uh, the, 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 the kuru pravira the greatest among all the kurus or great hero of the kurus only you have been able to do it and now 
Krishna is uh, uh, at, at his heart, he is very happy to see that uh, pleading uh, request of Arjuna that please come before me, please come before me in the form that I am familiar with. Arjuna being a devotee of the highest order. Arjuna wants that form which only the, the highest devotees, only the devotees who have reached the certain uh, level of this path of uh, devotion, they can enjoy, they can have the benefit of holding that beautiful, that blissful form of the Lord, that four-handed, hmm? the Lord with four hands, with the Gada and the Chakra in two hands. The other two hands has the conch and the lotus. But Arjuna is not keen on seeing that part. That part of the Lord's two hands holding conch and the lotus. That Arjuna is. Arjuna is very specific about show me your form. You holding the gada and the chakra and that crown on your head. I want to see that beautiful smiling face of the four armed Vishnu. So Krishna is now having told him that you are really fortunate to have seen that form which nobody can see. Now I will grant you the vision of my normal form. And Krishna says, don't be afraid. Get out of this uh, terrible mood that has taken over you after seeing my uh, terrible form. Sri Krishna says, Mate Vyatha Macha Vimura Bhavo Drishtva Rupam Goramidrum Goramidrum Amaidam Vyape Tabhi Prita Manahapunastvam Tadeva Me Rupamidam Prapasya. See to my old form that is so beloved to you. Hmm? Get out of this fear. Mate Vyatha. No need to fear now. Hmm? Do not fear. Macha Vimuda Bhava. Don't be in that bewildered mood, in that terrified mood. Don't be in that the, the anxious mood of seeing. Drishtva Rupam Ghoram Idruk Mama Idam. Seeing my terrible form. Don't get into that. Uh, give up now. You have seen, you got into that terrible, uh, you had that fear, you got, you were shaken, you were bewildered. Now, everything is over. Get out of it. Don't fear. Don't be in that terrible mood. Don't be anxious. Don't get perspiration and all that. Hmm? Just come out of it. Vyape tabhihi. Vyape Tabihi is uh, uh, dispelled with fear, having uh, got rid of your fear and Prita Manaha hmm, with the delight in your ha heart, with, 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 the, with the pleasant feelings in your heart, with the blissful feelings in your heart. Hmm? Vyape Tabihi Prita Manaha Punastvam Tadeva me rupa midam prapasya. Punastvam prapasya. Again you see. Again you see what? Tat evam me rupam idam. You see this form of mine. Which you so much uh, you, you, you are desirous of seeing. Which you are so much wishing to see this beautiful, peaceful, blissful form of mine. My smiling face. Hmm? Be not afraid nor bewildered on seeing this terrific form of mine. Till the time Arjuna was seeing that pleasant form of the Lord, the smiling face, hmm, with such a brilliant crowns and all, although, the, although the, that cosmic form had millions and millions of heads, each head adorned with that uh, crowning, uh, you know, the, the, the divine and celestial crown, diadem, with jewels and pearls and that beautiful smile on those so many manifold lips of the Lord. That beautiful smile and just a peaceful, blissful look of the Lord. Arjuna was very happy till the time he saw that terrible form of the Lord and then 
after showing him this wonderful form adorned with all the celestial uh, ornaments which arjuna had never seen then slowly arjuna saw all those celestial weapons and all the weapons not just held in hand as if held to stuck somebody somebody all those weapons held upright as if to hit somebody and then slowly arjuna started saying that all devouring form the entire creation is being devoured by the lord all these stalwart uh, warriors who are standing in front of him in both the camps including pitamaha bhishma dronacharya karna jayadratha uh, and all those so called invincible warriors who had been gifted with the boons of you will you cannot die all such invincible warriors are being chewed by the lord devoured by the lord such a horrible scene and then arjuna seeing that all these warriors all these great uh, warriors for that matter all the chiefs uh, of his army of his enemy's army they are being chewed some 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 uh, some warriors you know after chewing hmm, they, their body parts are getting stuck in the between the gaps between the gaps between the teeth of the lord and then lord crushing heads of some warriors crushing them to powder churna he is making out of it and arjuna got terrified having seen this and then krishna told him that what you are seeing this is my all devouring form right now i am in the phase of devouring wiping out the entire creation don't be afraid of it but still arjuna was afraid because he had never imagined that such a blissful such a uh, benevolent lord can become such a massive form of destruction and so krishna says having seen that terrible form of mine hmm, drishtva rupam ghoram idrusham uh, idruk mama idam having seen this terrible form of mine ghor rupam idruk mama idam having seen this terrible form of mine you have become so much uh, uh, bewildered get rid of that fear hmm? maam te yatha get rid of that fear maam cha vimudha bhavo get out of that uh, bewildered state of your mind and having got rid of that fear vyape tabhi and preeta manaha with a delightful heart now forget about that destructive phase of mine that is over that enemy is to happen my good side my terrible side you have seen both now get out of that impression of seeing that terrible side get out get rid of that fear and with the delightful heart hmm punastvam tadeva me rupam idam prapashya punastva prapashya once again you see this beautiful blissful present form of mind that you are so anxious you are so desirous to see hmm be not afraid nor be bewildered on seeing this terrific form of mine this horrible form of mine this all devouring form of mine do not be afraid do not be bewildered but in rather being free from fear being delighted at heart again see this form this former form hmm this uh the original form of mine that you are so much desirous to see that you so much desperately want to see so this is what uh, now krishna is uh, telling arjuna that come i am going to remove that mask and like in that uh, story of sri ramakrishna which he had told the brother is uh, terrifying his sister by putting on the mask of the lion and seeing that oh now the fun has gone too far my sister is really frightened then brother removes the mask and shows her his original face and sister is now so happy to see that beautiful charming face of her beloved brother 
So now Sri Krishna says, Okay, that terrible look is over. Now, just see my former form, my original form that you are so much desirous to see. The seafarer is delighted when the boisterous waters become pacified. When uh, somebody is, uh, you know, uh, 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 going in a ship on the ocean, suddenly there is a storm. Huh? The water starts jumping up and down and his heart starts palpitating. Oh my God, now gone. Now my ship is going. There's so, so much of storm. The huh? So much of boisterous waves it is going to be the end of mine then the child is pleased when mother's anger changes into affection then suddenly that storm calms down suddenly the waters are still and all that panic all that fright all that palpitation of the heart suddenly it starts becoming normal now there is no anxiety, there is no fear. Now it is all the calm waters and the ship is moving beautifully ahead. When the mother is angry, the child is so much petrified. When mother is angry at the child, child doesn't know now what to do. Oh my God, my mother is angry. For the child, mother is the only thing in this universe. And if mother is angry, just imagine the plight of that child. But the moment, the moment the mother takes off that facade of getting angry at her child. Mother can never get angry at her child. It is just a facade. It is like that boy putting the mask of the lion. And when mother feels that, no, no, my child is really petrified. My child is really frightened. Now I must get rid of this show of being angry. The moment mother gives that beautiful smile, that's it. Child forgets all the fear. Child forgets all that anxiety. Child forgets all those emotional trauma that he has undergone seeing his mother angry. The Jivatman is transported with joy when he beholds his terror-striking God resume his benediction-showering form. We as uh, human beings... We get terrified by looking at, uh, you know, the ghastly happenings around. Normally, this is how we react. But when, when we try to understand this is this all this uh, uh, the, the gruesomeness is in the scheme of the Lord. That is His script. That is the script the Divine Mother has written, and things have to go that way. Me or you crying, me or you getting afraid of it, me or you getting petrified of it is not going to stop all those things. That is the mother's way. That is the Lord's way. And when we start realizing this, we stop seeing that terrible form of the Lord. We stop seeing that horrible event being taken place. Then we understand it is all the Lord's script. And the moment we realize this, we started realizing the benediction showering, the blessing, the, 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 the blissful form of the Lord. Behind this devouring nature, behind this devouring face is the real face of the Lord, which is most pleasant, which is most gracious, which is most compassionate. So this is what happens uh, in, in, in our day-to-day -day life also. And Krishna says, now get rid of that fear. Get rid of that uh, bewildered uh, uh, you know, feelings in your heart. Free from all that. And with the gladdened heart, with the delightful heart, see my original form. See my earlier form, which you are so much desirous to see. I am back in that original form. And with that, Sri Krishna appears before Arjuna in his usual familiar form, which Arjuna wants to see. Now, no more those thousands and millions of uh, uh, mouths eating all the devouring all the creation devouring eating and chewing all these warriors in front of him 
that form is over now. Now it is that smiling, that all compassionate, that most benevolent form of the Lord that Arjuna is going to see now. So that was our 49th shloka of uh, the Vishwarupa Darshan Yoga, the 11th Adhyay of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Maha Jai Swamiji